Nothing can hinder. Nurturing every learner. Together we soar. Make dreams score. Amidst the challenges we face. A journey of learning wins the race. Education for all. Let's rise, not fall. This is DepEd Science Ed TV. A video lesson of Wanjimakaraeg National High School. School Division of Pangasinan 2. Welcome to our last episode for Quarter 3, Module 4 for Week 7 and 8. For this episode, we will be learning about the chemical behavior of the elements. The most essential learning competency is to use the periodic table of elements to predict the chemical behavior of the elements. At the end of this learning episode, you are expected to Differentiate periods from groups, define the trends in the periodic table of elements, and infer the following periodic trends in the periodic table, namely metallic property and non-metallic property, ionization energy, electronegativity, electron affinity, and the atomic radius. Before we go to our next lesson, let us first find out if you can still recall our past episode about the subatomic particles. There are three subatomic particles. They are protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons have a positive electrical charge. Neutrons have no charge. They are electrically neutral. Both protons and neutrons are located inside the center of the atom. Electrons are negatively charged particles. Electrons are found outside the nucleus orbiting in the shells of an atom. All atoms have the same number of electrons as protons, so the positive and negative charge cancel out, making atoms electrically neutral. We also learn how to determine the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in neutral atoms. For number of protons is equal to their atomic number. Number of electrons is equal to number of protons. Number of neutrons is equal to mass number minus number of protons. For the mass number, number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Before we proceed to our discussion, check your knowledge about the periodic trends here in our previous. It is for you to match column A to column B. 10 seconds is given to you, or press pause for more time in answering this request. These are the correct answers in your quiz test. Number 1. Electronegativity is the ability to attract and bind with electrons. Number 2. Ionization energy is the energy required to remove an electron from a neutral atom. Number 3. Electron affinity is the ability of an atom to accept an electron. Number 4. Atomic radius measure the size of an atom. And number 5. Metallic character is the ability of an atom to lose an electron. Why is it important to know the trends of the periodic table? The periodic table's periodic patterns are crucial to understand because they can help you predict an element's properties and understand why atoms behave the way they do. We use the periodic table to help us recognize certain trends of physical and chemical the periodic table is arranged in periods and groups, from light elements at the top to the heavy elements at the bottom. The rows going from left to right are called periods. There are 7 periods and 18 groups. Elements in the same period have the same number of energy shells. Each new period row represents a new shell. As we go down, the shells increase. For example, hydrogen is in the first period. 
it has one shell. Potassium is in the fourth period and it has four energy shells as do all the other elements in this period. The columns going down from top to bottom are the groups. Elements in the same group have the same number of electrons in their outermost shell. These are called the valence electrons. What does it mean? It means that these are the electrons available for reactions and bond formation. The group number can tell you how many electrons are in their shell. So if you look at group 7, we can see that they are each in a different period, telling us that each element in this group has its outer electrons on a different shell. Fluorine is in group 7, period 3. Therefore, it has three energy levels with seven electrons in its outermost shell. The most important periodic trends are electronegativity, ionization energy, electron affinity, atomic radius, and metallic character. The most important periodic trends are electronegativity, ionization energy, electron affinity, atomic radius, and metallic character. Let's talk about electronegativity. It describes an atom's ability to attract and bind with electrons. So the more attractive the electron is to an element, the higher its electronegativity will be. The atomic number and the distance of the valence electrons from the nucleus can both affect the electronegativity of an atom. Looking at the periodic table, elements located on the left side have electron shells that are less than half full. Because of these elements would need a lot of energy to gain or attract electrons. The least electronegative atoms are the metals, specifically francium or cesium. On the other side of the periodic table, however, elements have a tendency to gain electrons so that they can fill their outer electron shells and become more stable. The most electronegative atoms are the non-metals, specifically fluorine. Exemptions to the rule include the lanthanides and actinides, which don't really follow any trends. The noble gases, which have complete valence electron shells, and are perfectly stable at the transition metals because even though they have electronegativity values, there is a little change in their values because of their metallic properties that can also affect their attraction to electrons. So the trend is, the electronegativity increases as you go from left to right across a period and from the bottom to the top of a group. The higher the electronegativity number is, the higher the ability to attract electrons. Ionization energy is the energy needed for a neutral atom to remove an electron or become a positive ion. Conceptually, ionization energy is the opposite of electronegativity. The lower the ionization energy is, the more like it is for the element to turn into a cation or have a positive charge. The higher the ionization energy is, the harder it is for the element to remove an electron. Helium having the highest ionization energy because it is the hardest to remove an electron, while francium has the lowest ionization energy. Notice their positions on the periodic table. Helium on the top right, while francium is on the bottom right. The periodic trend of ionization energy is the same as electronegativity. The ionization energy of the elements within a period generally increases from left to right, as well as going from the bottom to the top of a group. 
Electron affinity is the ability of an atom to accept an electron or the ability to become a negative ion. The trend is, as you go from left to right along the periodic table, the electron affinity increases as well as when you go from the bottom to the top of the group. The more negative the electron affinity number is for an atom, the higher the attraction it's gonna have for the electrons. So what's the difference then between ionization energy and electron affinity? They are both measured with kilojoules per mole or electron volts. The ionization energy deals with a neutral atom losing an electron and becoming a positive ion. While electron affinity deals with a neutral atom gaining an electron and becoming a negative ion. Another periodic trend is the atomic radius. It measures the size of an atom. The atomic radius is one half the distance between the nuclei of two atoms. It measures the distance from the center of the nucleus to the edge of the electron cloud. The atomic radius increases as you go from the top to the bottom of a group because the number of valence electrons increase. These electrons occupy higher levels because of their quantum numbers and this causes the valence electrons to be farther away from the nucleus resulting into a bigger radius. The atomic radius decreases as you go from left to right across a period even though the number of electrons increases so does the number of protons and one proton has a stronger effect than one electron, so the electrons are going to help more tightly, resulting in a smaller radius. So the general trend for the atomic radius is that when you go from right to left of the periodic table, it increases as well as when you go from the top to the bottom of a group. Finally, the last periodic trend is metallic property or the metallic character. It is defined as how readily an atom can lose an electron. Metallic character includes the ability of metals to lose electrons to form positive ions or become electron donors and typically form oxides that are basic like calcium oxide and barium oxide. And the lost electrons react with acids to make hydrogen gas. Metallic character decreases from left to right across a period. This is because the atomic radius decreases and the outer electron of the smaller atom don't ionize as easily. So the general threat for metallic character is as you go from right to left, the metallic character increases as well as you go down a group. Let's summarize everything. How can you memorize all of these trends? You can remember that electronegativity, ionization energy, and electron affinity all increase from left to right and from bottom to top of the periodic table by remembering negative ion affinity up to the right. And you can remember atomic radius and metallic character increase from right to left and from top to bottom of the periodic table by remembering radio metallic down to the left.
I hope you learned a lot from this episode. Thank you for watching and keep safe everyone.